Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 395. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we have, well, some news this week. Um, not much. I think we won't be long, but hey, uh, I have a few stories I would like to tell because I went places this week. So anyway, let's get right into the news. So, first news is, official Pony live trailer on Hasbro's YouTube channel set to private. So, this is rather concerning or confusing, depending on which one you want to look at. Uh, the recent Pony Life trailer that came out that got a lot of, I won't say backlash. I, I think the proper phrase would be negative feedback from um, fans were well about the trailer and how it looks um, pictures showing how the team is going to be and whatnot and yeah all of the fans are not really happy with it and it seems that Hasbro set their what you call this uh, video to private so if I were to click here just Yep, uh, video unavailable. This video is private. So, yep, uh, that, that that is also concerning. So that's not the only news here because it seems that uh, the video itself has been removed from uh, Facebook and also Instagram. Uh, the theory here is um, let me double check here. Okay, uh, the running theory is that. This <coughs> this is in response to the singer of the song they use twerking at an NBA game and causing a bunch of drama. So yeah, um, that's one theory of why the uh, video got took down because of well that um, that is one theory we got no we're not hundred percent sure. And in all honesty, since when did Hasbro really care about what we think of said product until it comes out? Because usually people didn't really like it until when it came out. A lot of fans, and look where we are now. Uh, it's Questrial Girls, same thing too. Even the movies and so on. So, like I mentioned before, I'm going to have a wait and see approach on this one. But... Other than that, I got no real idea on what to say because uh, the trailer itself was kind of interesting. I, I, I kind of forgot how it is. I, I hope somebody out there um, uploaded it onto a, another website, Bitly or whatever, I don't remember, so I can rewatch it. It'll be interesting to see. But other than that... Uh, I got no idea. This is one of those cases where Hasbro has a lot of things that they wanted to, well, protect, I guess, because this is not the first time that they done something like this. So, yeah. Anywho, let's move on to, well, unfortunately, the last news of the week. And that is, well, new comic book sort of folio appears so if you guys are into the My Little Pony comic book it seems that there is a new sort of folio Yay. Uh, this is a folio where you can keep all your books or comic books inside this neat tidy looking thing uh, I'm not 100% sure how many comics you can let me see uh, sort of includes uh, space for 15 bags and bordered comics or 20 without those protections. Ah, so this is cool. This is really cool. Uh, the box on its own costs $70 or you can get 10 or 10 for... Huh, not bad. And then buy a uh, BCW. Yeah, okay. So if you guys do collect the comic books in a physical form and want to keep them in a very special um, 
container, this would be one of them. And hey, uh, if you have, well, let's just say that this is a really cool way to keep your comics. I, I wonder if they have more other than ponies. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the standard thing. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Uh, where is there? Maybe I should search. Yeah, maybe maybe I should search for the term My Little Pony. What does that get me? Ah! I, I remember reporting on this one before. So let's see what this is. Official license. Holds 152. Ah, this is this is nice too. You got two versions. Yeah, this this is cool. This is cool. And this is about fourteen dollars. Yeah, sure. Um, so anyway, if you guys do collect the comics and want to keep them in a cool way, these two are available on BCW website. Uh, I think you can buy them. I'm not hundred percent sure if they ship to Malaysia. Um, it would be cool if they did, but if not. Eh, no problem, I guess. So, anywho, that's the news for this week. And, well... Uh, let's go for what have I done with my week. Um, my week has been rather... Normal. Okay. Um, I went to Singapore this... Um, this week. Just for, you know, vacation and whatnot. Just to relax. I went to the... Uh, SEA Aquarium in Sentosa and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun I got to see a lot of fishies and sharks there were a lot of manta rays and stingrays it was really fun it was really really fun other than that um oh I bought pony stuff um this the season and whatnot so I bought myself a what you call this? What do you do? A pre-filled Christmas stocking, yay! And this is how it looks at the back. They'll give you some interesting um, toys. I'm I'm guessing there's what this is the um, this here is the bag tag. Uh, this here is like some kind of uh, mini frisbee thingy. And there is a rainbow dash scarf. So yay, much awesomeness. I I, I got no idea what's inside here more. Should go. Oh, there, there's a there's a whistle. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, um much much fun. So <laughs> Oh okay. I, I like this one because the art is very, very cool. Um I think this one is the what do they call this? Mini things? I I forgot, but they're the cute ones. I, I like this one. I, I do notice that some of the other designs for this, they don't have... Uh, what you call this? Applejack. I, I've seen a lot of them. Like They, they were... They had, like, um, the main five except Applejack. Like, poor Applejack. Wh why, why is she not included? Like, she's a part of the crew. She's important too. She's the sensible one out of them so why not right mm, poor Applejack but other than that um what have I been doing now uh, just just a lot of walking around um didn't really have much time in Singapore um first day arrived we went to the aquarium and then we went out for dinner and go back to the hotel slept checked out and then went Shopping. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot this. I, I also got the what? Ah, the Cutie Mark Crew, a sports towel. Yay! Um, this was what nine 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 <laughs> nine ninety for one and fifteen dollars for two. So yay, that's cool. Let's see. Yay! It's something like this. Design's pretty cool. Yay, sports. Also got this one. So this one's pretty cool too. Yay. Um, I think the promotion is still happening. I went to Orchard 
for you Singaporeans who are listening to this and are interested in getting it, uh, I think I went to Orchard something. Um, you can find it at a store called Isetan. So yeah, I'll go get it. They they had a lot of designs if you are interested in it. But other than that, um, that's about it. I think much really. Huh. So yeah, I I guess that's that's about it. Like I said, it's a slow news week this week. Haven't there, there's nothing much new. But anywho, um, let's wrap it up then. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at themyes show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Totera reviewing the Pony comics, episodes, and also specials. And sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. So that could be anime or even movies or whatever it is. So yeah, stick around for, well, that. That's going to be fun. So uh, anyway, um, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. Uh, sorry, patreon.com slash MBS show, my bad. Uh, with every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast and exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me and seriously folks if you ever wanted to hear how we kind of do the show unedited um, do subscribe to Patreon where the review and discussion podcast goes out raw we don't really edit the podcast like you get to hear Silver say words that are unimaginable and you get to hear Seppi say things that well uh, there's no surprise Seppi is a sailor so yeah also Totera Totera kind of tries to say stuff yay so do stick around for that it'll it'll be a lot of fun it'll be a lot of fun anyway uh, let's see talking about thank yous I I would like to thank Amy Lucky Knight Master of Lag Tristan and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next time on the MBS show. See ya.